I'm Burak Çevik, the director of The Pillar of Salt, and it will be premiering in Berlinale Forum this year. Uh, the film is actually about a woman who learns that she's pregnant and she started to look for her twin sister in Istanbul. Hello, welcome to the 32nd Teddy Award. I'm John Borbobag and I'm here to discuss the film to San Haida, The Pillar of Salt by Burak Cevik and his cast. Hello, welcome to the Berlin Alley. Uh, I hope you had a good time so far. So you are presenting The Pillar of Salt in the forum section. Is this your first yeah, Berlin my... Alley appearance? Yeah, it is my first film and of course first time here. And yeah. Uh, how do you feel about it? Well, it's great. You know, it means the film will reach uh, much more audience, and yeah. I'm very excited to see the reactions. Yeah. We will see. Yeah. So, what was the inspiration behind the film? It it has a very unique cinematic world that you build up in this in this movie. Mm -hmm. um, what inspired you, and maybe what film movements or what other films had an influence on on this very unique atmosphere? Well, well, it's it's a kind of hard question, but uh, the thing is, I was thinking about cinema itself, and I was thinking about uh, freezing in the time. Uh, you know, uh, when I was reading Bergson, and it says like the early times of the cinema, it says cinema is kind of uh, 24 or 18 uh, frame uh, frame per second, and it is. Uh, kind of uh, something, something illusion, illusion, you know. Yeah. Uh, you are watching like it is not a still frame. Yeah. Uh, but the thing is, if uh, the ontologically, if uh, something, um, uh, <laughs> şey, yanlış anlamaya yönelik, yanıltmaya yönelik. It's based on illusion. Yeah, based yeah, of. And yeah, yeah. Of yeah. So it says that maybe the cinema is something evil. Okay. So yeah. this is the main uh, thinking, uh, main idea uh, of this film. Yeah. You know, a woman frozen in the yeah. time, and it is, and she is maybe cursed by God. You know, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 which yeah. is like Lut's story. Yeah. So uh, so this was your starting point. Starting okay. point. Yeah. And yeah, it's it's interesting that you talk about it because at some point one of the characters says in the film that the most troublesome curse is to freeze a human in time. And it's like strongly linked in the film to the practice right. of photography. Yeah. And I was wondering actually, like, how do you relate then this to cinema, which is based in some way on photography, but it is a moving image. So it's yeah. not completely frozen in, in, in time anymore. Well, time, still, I can say right. frozen in time because you know yeah. it is. Uh, oh, we are still oh, yeah. talking about when oh, we are talking about yeah. cinema. We are talking about frames. Yeah. So uh, even it is not film, it is video, but still we are talking yeah. about the same thing. Uh, so mainly, uh, yeah. So this was the way because because we also see many of the characters like a lot of shots like they are the characters are framed themselves between different things like buildings or, or certain um, landscapes mm -hmm. to say. So does this also like something to emphasize the character being frozen in, well, in, in a time? Well, actually the, all the atmosphere, all the places uh, that we find and we build is, uh, we are trying to uh, do something, uh, well, the story sets uh, timeless and uh, yeah. a spaceless place, you know? Yeah. So the, all the places are uh, important for us just yeah. because of that. 
and you know uh, she's wondering in Istanbul, but Istanbul is not that Istanbul yeah, we are yeah. seeing always. Yeah, that's yeah. why. Maybe I don't know. You want to add something? <laughs> or about about the set design as well, because there are all these created spaces, as you just mentioned as well, and it's very impressive. Like all 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 the set, like really brings the audience into a completely new world. Yeah. It just opens up on screen. So can you talk a bit about like how these these sets came about like like well uh, when we are it? when I'm uh, writing the script uh, I was working with Biller Turan who is the set uh, designer mostly yeah. and concept developer of the film. Yeah. And we were always uh, talking about the film and the story itself. So she really uh, built a new world and mm -hmm like a concept. So every space, every place that we find, find is like uh, serving uh, the idea, you know, spaceless yeah. and timeless. And all the uh, costume that she's wearing in the film is the same. Yeah. yeah. Actually, we were also so lucky about uh, living in Istanbul somehow, because yeah. um, the, you could see all the, the all different dimensions uh, at the same time in uh, one place. Uh, it's really a uh, historical place, but also you could find so modern places also geographically. Uh, there is water and earth and uh, the other kind of things. Everything, uh, you could find everything. Uh, yeah. If you, uh, you could uh, shoot a fantastic movie, uh, also you could find a science fiction movie and also something really real. So yeah. the, we were lucky about Istanbul also. Yeah. Uh, Certainly. Yeah. Yeah. Just to add to that, it's actually the only location that we dressed up from scratch is the place where she lives, yeah, the where the, the lead yeah. actress. Yeah. Apart from that, all the locations are actually like real locations that yeah. we found yeah. and that we just shot in. And, yeah. uh, so in that sense, it's also interesting, as you said, that Istanbul kind of offers you like uh, so many different locations that you can actually yeah. like, I don't know, model them and put them in a like totally offbeat or totally different original movie in a way. Yeah. So the title, The Pillar of Salt, it, um, it refers to the story of Lot yeah. and, and Lot's people. And you also discuss it in the film that very often this um, biblical parable, which is like, which is very important part of different mm -hmm. religions as well, um, it is explained in a way where everybody just remembers that it's like, oh yeah, it's like the punishment of queers or, mm -hmm. or, or homosexuals. Uh, can you explain a bit more about how this came about into the movie and, and why is it such an integral and central part of the film? Mm, if I'm talking about the like, queer aspect of the yeah. uh, film, well, I can say that uh, well, I, when I'm writing the script, I, I didn't think that uh, in that perspective, but still, you know, for me, uh, she's a woman and she can be, be in love with a woman or a man, you know, which is yeah. it's the same thing for me. So I, I just wrote it that way. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Yeah, for me, um that story, it's really, yeah. the, you, you could find that story in uh, all around the world somehow. Exactly. Yeah, okay, it's in the Bible or in um, those kind of places, yeah. but it's uh, in, in fairy tales or in uh, another yeah. motif. It's a yeah. motif. So, someone yeah. uh, who did not accept the um, gaze of authority uh, or the warmth of the authority yeah. will publish. So, uh, the, it happens to that woman. Yeah. And uh, they try to, society try to ch teach their children. Yeah. So, uh, listen your authority listen your uh, parents yeah. or some other kind of thing so um, for me it's also j just about that so someone who really uh, resists the authority and it will stuck punished yeah. by it stucking in a moment yeah. that it means that um, for me my character uh, you will see whole people and whole the earth uh, is dying yeah. or Everything is yeah. passing on your body, and yeah. you cannot do anything about yeah. it. It's, uh, which is really uh, worst uh, punishment, I guess. So it's about that. Uh, one of the uh, worst image that they have created somehow. So yeah. that's why I guess it was so strong mm -hmm. and center for our movie also. Right. Let's talk about this main character a bit as well, because it's such a 
nice representation of a very strong and, and unique female character. I think it's it's quite rare to see like such a complex and strong female lead. Um, so let's talk a bit about that and like uh, and also it's a very like female oriented film in a way in that sense that I don't remember seeing any male characters on screen. We we hear maybe voices, some voices, yeah. but we don't see any male characters in the film. So can we talk about a bit about this femininity aspect that is like very present in the film? Yeah, okay. maybe you can answer it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, like how was it for I'm, you? I'm because... so happy about it. <laughs> yeah. I really need to say, uh, say that because um, it, it was actually okay. I need to tell uh, something about it. It was the time uh, for Istanbul for Turkey, uh, really hard term like explosions and uh, other kind of things. So uh, I mean, for me, uh, that was so important uh, to find. Um, uh, get, get the power with the uh, solidarity with women somehow, guys. I'm sorry, but uh, I prefer the female energy uh, instead yeah. of male energy, uh, which uh, many many male uh, discovered it, 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 it their insight. So I'm I'm so happy about it because our crew is really like that. Uh, we really find the balance, uh, male and female uh, for uh, male and female issues. Uh, so that was so great to working um, all together for uh, and whole characters uh, inspired me a lot because um, when I was uh, performing with uh, with another woman we were like it, it was like a fire to me mm -hmm. I mean we come together so then no it, it turns into kind of really sharing something right. and uh, really uh, I felt that one of them was my, uh, my professor actually acting professor yeah, yeah. <laughs> the television repair uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. repair uh, and I was so excited also acting with her sure. uh, another issue uh, and uh, the male character uh, female character um, I understood her so much because of that term also because uh, it was a term uh, I really tried to um, protect my emotions because of that uh, time I mean uh, you know maybe if you know about Turkey and Istanbul and um, you try to close your eyes because so many things happening around you people are dying and uh, about uh, th those kind of violence, all those things, it's not easy to uh, get it. Uh, so then you try to uh, stop all your emotions somehow. And I, I understood that character from that side also, because uh, she is stuck in a moment, and then she, everything is happening around her, uh, everything is dying, and so many things uh, is changing, and she has to stop her emotions, and she has to... Uh, keep the really huge distance with all those things, Other, otherwise she cannot keep um, living somehow. And she cannot die, I mean, she cannot uh, yeah. uh, kill herself or something like that, she won't, she won't yeah. die, so you, you have to create your frame somehow. Yeah, and yeah. yeah that, that, that's very interesting. Anybody want to reflect on? I don't have anything to say. Maybe you. No? Okay. Well, no. it's, I think also it's in. Uh, it was from when we were talking in the beginnings of uh, like the preparation, like the fact that there are only female characters. I think is by nature interesting because that you don't naturally see. But I think that's one of the like uh, like pros in a way, or the best parts of Burak's film is the fact that you have actually so many like. Uh, like interesting, totally unlinked aspects that come together yeah. and that makes something that uh, you know that you can really get something personal out of it. Yeah. And uh, even that's it's for the Lutz case also because for the Lutz case actually yeah you can see it from a like queer perspective or there, there's also like for instance the the freezing in time also yeah. like stuff inside. Uh, like seeing female characters, you don't know actually like if what kind of relationship they are because it's not really like you know open, and uh, sometimes you guess there's a like like uh, I don't know like uh, uh, sexual relationship or not, and it's I mean it's like com kind of a complete mess to me, but in some kind of an order that makes it you know really uh, yeah. interesting I think and creative yeah 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 yeah, yeah. right. Um, and actually, it's actually like we had this idea of establishing a whole universe, whole world yeah. in in the film. 
So I think it fortifies the idea that it's a really a set world. Like it's a, I wouldn't say artificial, but it's a, like a human-made world established uh, by the film itself. So yeah. I think it fortifies that idea as yeah. well right. of female cast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you pointed it out that yeah, there is like these seemingly not very related aspects to the film, there, and also like one of one of the strong concepts within the film is is dream. There are like multiple char characters discussing their dreams in the film, and somehow the the entire movie has this dreamlike flow to it. Um, was this something that you really wanted to work with, was, or, or what was exciting for you well, with dreams? I think dreaming is a good way to link with correct, linked characters yeah. each other. So, yeah. and I, I always liked the you know concept of dreaming. You know, it is kind of uh, watching films. Mm -hmm. uh, so in the darkness, uh, in a POV, etc. Mm -hmm. So for me, uh, no, I I wanted to create a world that uh, after uh, sleeping, there is the world is continuing. Yeah. So maybe they see each other in the dreams. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because characters yeah. are connected with yeah, their yeah, yeah. dreams within the film, which was I, I thought it was a really nice idea to to link to link all yeah, these yeah. seemingly different characters yeah. within this world. Yeah. Um, but also this comes with with the fact that in a way for the audience like this very traditional way of looking at films mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of challenged by how you construct it and how the structure of the film goes on like it it, it kind of challenges this way of like okay i'm gonna sit down and i'm gonna get with this movie from a to b it's rather like there is like a labyrinth like a maze that you have to get through mm -hmm. um and in, in my opinion or in my interpretation, that could be said that it's a queer way of looking. Let's let's say, w would you agree with that? And like, do you think that this is like something? I mean, this is obviously very integral to the film that it's not a narrative driven. Well, I'm not. I, I don't. I don't know what's meaning the queer way of looking, but um, well, it's. I can. Definitely say that yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. it's the way of storytelling and way of looking is kind of unique and kind of we are observing things. Uh, and I, I always, when I went, when I was editing, I always want to do uh, like first scene is like close starts with close up, then we go to uh, landscape. Yeah. Uh, so I I I always want to uh, cut the landscape uh, the parts. Like cut, uh, like cutting the uh, main character's uh, body mm. or the you know dream yeah. seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it is for me. Uh, it's a, I don't know. I really like to tell a story like that, uh, yeah. cutting uh, the whole image. Like yeah. maybe Breston did it well. Uh, so I don't know. Yeah, I mean, since the definition of queer is kind of extensive and like ever ever expanding. Yeah. Uh, it's hard to like define and pinpoint the, the definition of the queer, but I think in as long as far as the film doesn't uh, follow the linear storytelling, and which is kind of you know it's it's a kind of a um, like a main pillar of the mainstream commercial yeah. filmmaking. As long as it doesn't follow uh, linear storytelling and it tells in a way that is not uh, get accustomed, like it's not we, what we used to. So I think as long as that, I think we can say that it's a, its approach is yeah. queer. Yeah. 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 Um, well, thank you so much <laughs> for, for being here and presenting the film. I wish you a really pleasant 68th Berlinale and I hope that you that you're gonna enjoy your time here with this movie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.